Jason and I have been best friends since the year 2000, I think it was. We met, we became pretty close friends quite quickly. And at, at the time, he'd only done Lock, Stock and a couple of other films. Uh, so he was already on my radar. He was already, oh, this actor's quite interesting. I like this actor. You know, you don't know where you are with him. Um, and then he did an amazing film with Anthony Cher called Alive and Kicking. After I saw that movie, that was it. I was like, got to work with this guy. And then I bumped into him at a film screening and we hit it off. So every, t every time I write a script from that point onwards, there was always a part in it for Jason if, there, if it was appropriate. After the, 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 the brain hemorrhage thing, when I, I was in intensive care for about um, six weeks and um, they put me under for, uh, in a coma for a, quite a while, you know, uh, to try and get the swelling in my brain to go down. It was a bit of a hazy time, but I know I was in hospital for about three months. And uh, one of the first things I remember when I came out of the coma was Jason Fleming sitting on the end of my bed going, holding a bacon sandwich. Going, Get that down, you Lance, see you'll be all right, have a bacon sarnie. And I was like, have I died? Am I in heaven? Is this like, is this what heaven is? Jason Fleming offering bacon sandwiches. Um, and uh, that was quite early on and he came to see me, see me in hospital about three times, I think, over that period. By this time, Jason and I were pretty close and there are not many people in the industry because this industry is really vicious. You, you know, number one lesson, trust no one, right? So I'm going to give a piece of advice to other filmmakers out there. Trust no one. Always have a contract. But Jason Fleming, I would and have trust with my life. Absolutely, 2,000%. And um, he's also one of the most giving people in the industry. He has done probably over a 100 independent films that have paid him nothing that really probably didn't benefit his career including mine um, but he had no reason to do whatsoever and um, but he did them because he cares and he, he cares about the industry and he likes giving something back I mean he might get knocked if I mention this but I'll mention it anyway I don't think it's a secret he does loads of work for the Samaritans he mans the phone for the Samaritans and he, uh, during the lockdown he was doing uh, God knows how many shifts of that a week. Him and his wife, they cook food and they take it down to homeless shelters. He does this kind of stuff all the time. I've never met an individual like him. He's not only one of the most talented British actors that we have and I'm so glad he's not gone to Hollywood because he doesn't like the fakeness over there. He doesn't like it. He's, an authentic person so he doesn't fit in that unauthentic bubble that's not who he is um, thank God you know um, but he's one of the most caring individuals you know when I've had him on set he'll think nothing about picking up a broom and, and, and or picking up a box mm. and helping us shift some kit cast and crew will go to a restaurant at the end of a day's filming Jason's done this on five occasions and I'll go up to pay the bill and he's already paid it don't worry about it, Lance, he's sorted, sorted. I've sorted it, Lance, don't I? Um, stuff like that. And, and um, there's been more than one occasion where I've been on my knees financially and he's like, Lance, I, I've sent you a, a treatment, I've sent you a script or something. Um, there's a couple of K in it for you. Uh, do this for me and do that for me and da 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 da. And uh, I think half the time he doesn't really need me to do these things. He's just you know, got me a paid gig on something he's involved in or whatever. I, I would say of all the people I've worked with in the industry, he's the one that I can absolutely say 2000% has always had my back, both on and off set. And actually, if it wasn't for him, I would have been dead a long time ago. Jason Fleming has saved my life literally on more than one occasion. Um, you know, I had some real mental health struggles 2021, 2022, went through some very bad and dark times and he was on the end of the phone. Like, you know, sometimes all hours, um, always checking on me. You know, if I was in a bad place and I left him a message, he was always the first person to call, to call me back. 